Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today in this video we're going to take a look at the i6S and how to set up the failsafe on the Flysky i6S. Now, this is especially important if you, well, it's always important. The failsafe is always important. Um, and we're going to show you how to set this up for the motor because the motor is the most important thing to have the failsafe set for. Now, if you say, Adam, what the heck are you talking about? What's a failsafe? Well, a failsafe uh, is what the airplane controls will default to if you lose connection with your transmitter. Typically, and what I'll show you here, is that means that your motor will just uh, die. It will stop turning. It will stop spinning. And the reason why you want that is because if you didn't have it like that, you it's possible that it could end up going to full power as the default if you haven't set it how you want it, or it might just continue on whatever throttle setting you were at and whatever uh, aileron or, or whatever uh, um, control surface position you had. So basically what that means is it's just going to fly away. It's going to fly away from you forever. Or it might just, you know, nosedive into the ground into, you know, into a smoking hole. So you want to have a fail safe set up and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Now this is going to be for an airplane. Typically with a quadcopter, you'll set up all the fail safe stuff on beta flight on your configurator for your flight controller. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to set it up for an airplane. You can set this up uh, for a quadcopter in addition to doing it on beta flight. But uh, honestly, I don't think it really uh, makes a difference. I'm not sure. If you know something about that, let me know in the comments. First thing we're going to do is turn on our transmitter. And by the way, I'm using the most recent firmware, uh, the April 4th, 2020 update. Tap our lock to unlock it. We'll go into the system uh, or the, the menu, the function menu here. And then we'll scroll down all the way down to the bottom to where it says fail safe. Okay, now you see we have all of our different channels and those correspond to the sticks and the switches if we have them set up. And so what we want in particular for the motor is we want channel three because that is what our motor is connected to. The ESC on here is in the channel three slot on our receiver. This is a, this is a demonstration airplane, by the way. I know it doesn't look much like an airplane, but it is. We've got all the electronics on board. So we are going to tap on channel three and it says channel three we want to tap on and then with our throttle stick in the zero or the off pos off position we want to tap setup and then it says negative 100 and that's what we want because it's uh, basically in the middle position would be zero and then as you can see on this little bar right here and the top position is full power. So we want it negative 100, that's all the way off. Now we can just back out of there. Now let's connect to battery and test this out. So basically to test this out, you want to turn on the throttle and then turn off the transmitter. But with this particular transmitter, you can't just turn it off because if you try to turn it off with the receiver still on, it says, hey dummy, turn your receiver off first. Well, we've got to be able to get around that. So we're going to do it old school. We'll just take off the back panel here, battery panel. And if you're wondering what this piece of foam is for, that's for filming purposes because it's easier to film the screen with it elevated. We'll just remove the battery to turn off the transmitter to simulate a power outage in our transmitter. So we'll uh, give it some throttle here. So it's good. So it doesn't have to be a lot. So it's going and then we'll take out uh, the battery and then it shuts off. So our, our transmitter shuts off, the motor shuts off, and right now it, it is in fail safe mode. So now all we have to do is uh, reinsert the battery to get you know power back to our transmitter, turn our transmitter on. Now you see that when we turned our transmitter right back on, it actually started up the motor, um, even though the stick has to be in the basically in the, in the lowest position in order to turn on the transmitter. That's what it tells you every time. Um, and that is because of, that has to do with endpoints with the throttle stick. Uh, but we'll talk about endpoints in another video. So that pretty much does it for the fail safe. One other thing that you can do, uh, just so that you know, you can put a fail safe on any of the channels. Let's get back into our fail safe uh, menu here. And you can see, we still have channel three, which is our throttle at negative 100, um, but you can turn them on for any of these channels. And one thing that you can do is uh, once you turn all of them on or all of the ones that you want to use, 
once you turn those on, what you can actually do is hit set all. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but just in case you do, and let's say let's say we want all of, for some reason we want all of our uh, control surfaces to move uh, in a certain direction. I could press set all. If I can tap it, there we go. Set all. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, and so they should all be set now. Let's go back to our main menu, and uh, let's just let's go ahead and turn this on as well. And let's take out the battery and our motor shut off and our control surfaces went to this weird, uh, crazy position, uh, just like we told them to. So that wouldn't be very helpful to have all of those control surfaces go in a weird way. But sometimes maybe what would be helpful would be is if you had the elevator come up a little bit, like, uh, so basically to pitch the nose up to put it into a glide or possibly even put it into like sort of a, a stall so it would sort of pitch way up and then you know kind of fall back down and then you know the stall and then the nose would come, come back down and then pitch way back up to kind of have this sort of slow descent maybe i don't know it might work might not could just it could just get you in, into more trouble so anyway that's for you to decide the fail safe is super important make sure you set it up on your quadcopter or airplane before you fly. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. If you love this video and you want to see more Fly Sky videos, check out this playlist right over here because I've got a ton of Fly Sky videos just for you. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you again very soon. I'll, I'll see you in that video right over there.